All right, so today I want to talk about late, missing, and incomplete data and how a scorecard view can help you understand when and why your data quality is being impacted. So we've all experienced it in some form or fashion, whether it's uh, your report is giving you incorrect answers or uh, a third party data provider stops sending you a feed on a given day or a column suddenly been added, an ETL job change, and now it's missing. But it's hard to keep track of all these things when you've got thousands of data sets and a lot of moving pieces. So there are a couple things on this page to call out. The first is the, the heat map view. So that's a grouping of a number of data sets that allows you to get the overall health and the overall quality score uh, for anything that's tied to a particular business process or a particular report. Next, uh, I want to call out the individual view. So this gives you a little more depth and a little more color, but this will tell you the when, but also the why. So the particular reason why you're having data quality issues on any given uh, time series. And then lastly, there's stacking. Stacking allows you to see clustering and deconstruct lineage so you can see which data sets, um, if one's bad and many are bad, have an interdependent relationship. So in terms of organizing these views, it's usually helpful uh, to do it one of three ways. One is by line of business. The other would be by storage or by schema. And the third would be by data set ownership. So if you've got mapped out ownership, this way you can do whatever's most relevant to your end users and then allow them to get to the data sets that's, that are most important to them quickly and, and easily. That's the scorecard view. It's very helpful in tracking and monitoring your data quality, especially data quality over time. Um, we've all had it happen. 